Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 70 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which the retrograde approach was used to resolve proximal cap ambiguity. The patient had a right coronary artery CTO that was osteal with a very long occlusion length and the distal vessel was filling via both septal and epicardial collaterals from the LAD and the circumflex. We initially did a brief undergrade attempt to cross with the guard wires through microcatheter, however, that was unsuccessful. And given the long lesion length, um, we decided to go in the retrograde approach. We advanced microcatheter into the septal. The collaterals were not the best, however, we could see a pathway from the septal all the way to the posterior descending artery. We were then able to advance a Sion guide wire through the occlusion. That was followed by a micro 14 microcatheter that would advance essentially all the way to the distal cap that interestingly enough was actually much further along than we thought. We thought it was going to be a distal RC occlusion. However, we were able to advance the guide wire very easily all the way to the mid right coronary artery. We often find very useful to do a retrograde injection of contrast through the retro retrograde microcatheter in order to understand the anatomy. In this particular case, we're clearly into the mid right coronary artery and the undergrade wire is um, outside the vessel, likely into the pericardium. To understand the vessel course, we performed retrograde crossing. We were able to go subintimal and advance the retrograde knuckled wire all the way to the proximal right coronary artery and this essentially explains why we were unable previously to wire in the undergrade direction there is tremendous amount of tortuosity and bends in the proximal right coronary artery that was very hard to understand without having this retrograde knuckle wire since we have now a marker of the vessel course which is the retrograde wire we were able to advance an undergrade wire subintimally into the proximal and mid right coronary artery. And then we advanced a guideliner, initially a six French guideliner to the mid right coronary and attempted to do reverse card. However, that was not successful. Therefore, we upsized to a larger eight French guideliner, which was advanced to the mid right coronary. And then after dilation with a three O millimeter balloon, we were able to advance a retrograde wire all the way into the undergrade guide. The wire was externalized, stents were placed, and we obtained a nice final angiographic result with a TME3 flow into the distal right coronary artery. There remains still a little area of um, dissection outside the stents. However, there was excellent flow and no evidence of perforation. In summary, this case shows that the retrograde approach can be used for resolving proximal cab ambiguity. The way this was done is by advancing a retrograde knuckle wire all the way to the proximal right coronary artery. This is safer than advancing guide wires that are not knuckled because it's more likely to follow the vessel curvature instead of exiting from the vessel architecture. And finally, using the guide liner can help facilitate reverse card and using the larger version, the eight friends guide liner or any guide catheter extension can be even more efficient in optimizing the likelihood of the reverse card succeeding. Thank you.